they want to get your attention, they can't get you, and then then they're not very nice. Am I right? Right. Right, exactly. Right. So I personally, the way I look at it when that happens, and if it's happening on, on uh, it's re repeatedly, I look at it like I turn things around and I just say, okay, what is it I really need to learn? What is the message here that this, I would have to attract this type of person or this kind of teacher? I look at it, okay, there's my guru has come in my life, I mani or God manifested, and has come in my life and is representing something to me. And I just kind of look at it, not really looking at it in, in a matter of blaming myself that why is this being created? But I look at it that there is something, I look at it like there is a golden opportunity here that for a lesson in, in my life that I can learn from. And so I look at it that way. And then I say, all right, in this case, from what I understand from you, and you know, I may, I may, not, I, I, I may not know everything, but I'm just referring to the information you've given me, okay? So there's two things I do. One is I say, all right, this person shows up in my life and they're pushing me. And then I look at it that, is there fear inside me of really speaking my truth? Because a lot of times when I get challenged like that is about myself not being able to speak my truth. And, and coming from a background of being brought up to be always obedient or being a good boy and not wanting to um, disturb the apple cart and coming from this background that, you know, you don't speak back to your elders or older people or authority, you just kind of eat it. Um, so then I get challenged in that way, or I used to, till I go into my power, I go into this place to see what's right for me. And if I be submissive and not speak back, then later on I feel bad about myself, I have resentments. Yeah. And then existence provides this uh, situation again, until I go into my power and come back and say no, or just say, you know, I got to tell you something. This is da, 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 da. And I come to my power to express it. And the way I express it, there's, there's different ways I can do it. I can do it from a non-egoic way or not angry. I may come with power, but I'm very centered. Even though I may come back and show being aggressive, but you can come back with force, but you are completely aware of your behavior. Mm -hmm. That is different than coming back from a reactionary place that there is no awareness in it. You're just reacting to something, whether you come back and you're angry and you push them back, or you're being submissive, but now, there is no awareness in it. So it's just a, a robotic reaction. So it's okay if you come back and you come back strong, if the situation requires you to do it, but you do it from awareness. You're still very centered inside yourself, but you come back with force, but you're completely aware of what you're doing. Yeah, that's, I think that's what I'm trying to learn because the reason why I don't maybe always speak back with power, what, like you're saying, is I'm associating it with my ego and being angry and I need to find that center. Right, that center right. The power without, with the coming from a non-egoic perspective. Yes, right. Great. So... 
so you can see that one you know it basically goes back in your conditioning that you've been conditioned uh, oh you shouldn't come back and be aggressive or speak your truth because you should be a good girl or if you do that that means it's your ego you know later on when we come on a spiritual path then we want to be very spiritual and then all of a sudden we're not speaking our truth anymore and what existence does is it's going to create situation that someone's walking all over you and it will keep happening till you rise and you say no so really saying no and i don't like this and i say no to it or go go away is not really being unconscious or unspiritual it's where you come from with that are you awake aware of it or it's just an unconscious reaction hmm. Whew. I'll have to meditate on that a lot <laughs> yeah yeah That's you sit that. with it you also we have your email and you will receive a copy of today's uh, uh, session, webinar. And so you can look back at it again later on, rewind tape and come back to this part and see if it resonates for you or not. Okay, great. Yeah, this was like a question in my mind for, for a few Great, weeks. I'm, I'm happy that I'm happy that it came out and we were able to talk about it. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. My pleasure. Hi, Kirsten. How are you? I'm fine. I'm very fine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. to see you. Welcome yeah. back. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting with my dog. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cute, cute dog. Yeah. <laughs> you like to listen to all this talk. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he feels the energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he likes it. He likes it when you're in meditation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Animals are very receptive and very sensitive to energy, so they feel like there is something uh, groovy happening. Yeah. So. They dig it, right? <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yes. 